Hey all here OS Reviews, a few days ago we checked out a UV light sanitizing box which is designed for smartphones and wearables that you put in there and using ultraviolet light kills off germs and bacteria. Well what if you're on the go? This is obviously not going to be the most portable thing in the world, so today we're taking a look at a UV gadget that's much more pocketable. This is especially relevant here as we are in the middle of a global pandemic and uh, a UV sterilizer gadget can kill off bacteria, including COVID-19. It actually can be attached directly onto your smartphone and draws power using either lightning or USB Type-C or even a standard full-size USB that you can pop onto a power bank and draw power from. The UV light is rated at 2 watts, so it's pretty energy efficient. You can shine on an object for 30 seconds and it will kill 99.9% .9 of bacteria on it. Uh, a fair warning though is just like other UV products, you shouldn't really expose it to your skin or look at it directly for too long, so it should be just used as a wand kind of pointing away from you. It's plug and play, so it's really simple. You can use this for sterilizing face masks if you want to reuse one. Um, or to make sure it's extra clean with other objects like doorknobs before you touch them would also be really useful. So some other use cases include money, banknotes, as well as your glasses, your toothbrush, as well as the keyboard and your computer, just objects that you frequently touch. And again, this thing is tiny. It's the smallest UV product or UV wand that I've ever seen. The fact that it draws power from your smartphone or power bank is really what makes it novel. And inside of this small box, we have access just to the um, mini UV sterilizer itself, and initial impressions would be that it is surprisingly hefty for such a small thing. Uh, it's about the size of a USB thumb drive, something like a US one cent penny, you can see it is still really tiny. But the heft comes from the fact that the entire body is constructed out of aluminum and metal, so it does feel like it's a solid chunk um, as opposed to being made out of plastic, for example. So it does feel very durable, something that can withstand being put into a pocket and then using out and about. It's slightly recessed for the parts which have the kind of UVC tiny lamps, and then by default it comes with this lightning connector port. On the base here we have one of the adapters which transforms the lightning for iOS devices into a USB Type-C port. So that's what it looks like and this will be of course useful if you have an Android smartphone. And then in this little pocket we have the full-sized USB adapter. That's meant to be plugged in and then be uh, inserted onto say a power bank, uh, something with a full-size USB port or your computer, a wall charger to draw additional power. Uh, but one problem, at least with this current pre-production kit that I have, is it seems like this plug is using micro USB, but again we have a Type-C here and also Lightning, so neither of these will actually plug in. Uh, and I'm sure that the actual model that it retails for will come with the correct tip, but it is kind of a funny little um, mismatch there. Nonetheless, even the adapters here to Type-C is constructed out of aluminum alloy, so the entire thing is just built like a tank. The quick manual here on how to sanitize different objects, and there's even a certificate here that uh, basically says that this was indeed tested before it was sent out by a certain laboratory. There's kind of a serial report number and a certification. So movement time being about 10 seconds per centimeter squared, or about 30 seconds to cover a object like a mask or a phone. And that is pretty much it. Now, one thing that I will say is that there isn't a power on and off switch on the side of the lamp, which I think could have been useful to see. Uh, so basically, once it's plugged in, it's always going to remain on until you physically unplug it. One, two, three, plugging it in. It's now turned on, as you can see there. And the light will just, again, continuously be on as you are using it. Two watts is barely anything. It's just like a small LED light or a flashlight torch on your device. So it's not going to drain power uh, that significantly. Um, if you're worried, you can always use, again, a power bank that can make it last for a little bit longer. You can use your watch or just count the surface here, taking about 30 seconds, moving slightly back and forth to fully sanitize it. And that is pretty much it. So just really as simple as it gets. Doesn't have anything too complicated. It is indeed functional and uh, you can use it again on different objects that you have that you're uh, using wearables, glasses, smartphones, keyboards, doors and knobs, anything that you would really need for such a small little uh, wand or dongle to carry with you. Now after about a minute or two of use, it does get slightly warm, but uh, never too hot, and since the entire thing is made of metal, it does dissipate heat fairly quickly. 
that's more or less it for just this very quick hands-on look more than anything of the uh, green sun portable uv led sterilizer also known as the mini killer pro just very well built but a simple object if you're interested you can check out more details in the links down below for now that's been our video thanks for watching here at os reviews that's been the world's smallest uh, uv wand the mini killer pro